old Hollywood, I think of lashes, red lips, liner, and just very, very flawless skin. Okay, first off, I'm going to be using a moisturizer. Uh, this is just by Clinique um, Moisture Search, just to cut the skin. Of course, with clean hands. <laughs> Once you're all moisturized, I'm going to go in with MAC Oil Control Lotion. This is going to make it look more matte and flawless. Next, I'm going to be using Mineralize Satin Finish Foundation NC40 along with my MAC 187 Stippling Brush. I'm just going to even out the whole face. After you put on foundation, Go ahead and touch up anything that you don't like. I'm using Select Moisture by MAC. I like this product because um, it doesn't make your skin cakey. It just glides on really smooth. Before you want to contour anything or put any blush, I recommend using this product, Prep and Prime. It just makes your skin so smooth. I'm gonna go in with this little spooky brush, um, putting it in with the Prep and Prime powder and dusting it all over the face. Again, like I said about my concealer, the Select Moisture, um, this product doesn't make you look cakey. It just makes everything perfect. When you're going out with your friends and you're going to take all those pictures, it just makes your pores look smaller and in the pictures, it's just beautiful. Okay, next, I'm going to be contouring the face. So I'm going to go ahead with um, Max Harmony to go ahead and contour the face. Next, I'm going to take... Um, bronzer by MAC. It's a bronzing powder in Refined Golden. I'm just going to put that um, right above, right above that contour right here. I'm just going to go ahead and set that again with the MAC Prep and Prime with my favorite Kabuki. This is actually from e.l.f. also. It's only five bucks. And it's pretty like stiff and full. It does the job. will be going in with the eyes. I'm going to go really simple with this. Um, I'm only using about three colors, something natural because I'm going to go really with the, with the lashes. I'm going to take a uh, pink pot in Bear Study and go ahead and put this on my eyes. Using a base is really important, I think. Just to make the shadows pop and to make it last longer. All day. Every day. Can you see how it pops compared to the side? on this look is going to be lashes and lips. I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, MAC 217 brush and I'm going to go ahead and dip that. Anyways, I'm going to really define um, my eyes and put a little wingtip back in the glamour days. I guess now we do too, but they accentuated this part of the eye. Okay, so here we go.
clean that up. I chose 104. Um, it's really interesting because um, they come like this on one eye, but I'm gonna just use one and split the cap and put it on the ends. Okay? So go ahead and apply those. Alright, so after you get your your false lashes on, which take me forever, sorry. Um, you're gonna go ahead, go back with the black track, uh, your fluid liner, and we're gonna reapply that. Um, where is mine? Ah, there you are. I'm gonna reapply it so that you don't see any glue. So, okay. Alright, so. Once that's complete, I didn't apply mascara um, just because I was supposed to do it beforehand. Anyways, um, I don't want it all on my false lashes so I can use it again. Okay, so next I'm going to finally, finally, my favorite part, besides the falsies, the lips. So after you're done applying those false lashes, which are so hard to find, I know. Um, you're gonna go ahead with Max lip liner. I'm gonna be using lip pencil and brick. Mm. Mine's already moisturized. Sorry. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I'm gonna start at the bow. You can go over the natural lip line, which you have, but I'm not. Once you have the lip liner on, we're going to go into MAC brick, brick Red with the lip brush. I'm going to apply with a brush because I feel like it's going to really, it, for me it just stays longer versus just using the stick. Alert in Mac Dazzle Glass. I'm gonna put it over. 